Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott. And I want to welcome you all back to FTB Ultimate Reloaded. Today is like episode 30 or 31, 32. I don't know. We've been playing this game for a ton of time. And today, no goals. I've got some things I want to accomplish. And one is to build a bridge and start some rivers. So we'll get to that. But we're going to take it slower today because I've missed out on an absolute ton of things that I've wanted to do. But we kind of been rushing through to get some things kind of done. And so what I want to do is slow down a second here, enjoy the time with y'all, kind of chill out for for the day for 25 to 30 minutes or so, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see where we get to. So let's kind of get started here. And the first thing I really want to do is get back in and tour to our house. Now, we haven't really unloaded. We got the, I found a dog here. But you guys remember, I don't know if you do or not, but uh, I don't, well... Uh, what are these things called at industrial? I got put my poor industrial. There we go. Imprisonment tool. I want the tools here. Tool. Ooh. There we go. So I have a wolf, and I have our parrot that I brought over from our from our other house, and I really just want to put him here. <laughs> there he is. There's our parrot. <laughs> There's our blue parrot that we've had from the beginning <laughs> I just I've wanted to do that for the longest time and there's our other dog so that's let's let's color these guys up real quick here and uh, let's give one blue and that the new one will be the blue guy okay here you go buddy there we go so we got the blue one and the red one okay now I'm feeling better I've been meaning to do that for the longest thinking time and we get in here to these episodes and all of a sudden we just kind of forget about things okay so second thing off let me put my armor on because I look sweet and nice now right yeah with my head piece you notice we got some pretty sweet tools well mr. T Fox came over this afternoon and helped we built some tools we got some really really nice tools um, he's got a huge mob farm set up that's getting all sorts of XP and so we just kind of shared it back and forth and created the best possible tools and we'll do that ourselves here one of these days and we'll show some of the things that we used for that because I think they're really really cool oil well is next this thing yesterday we got it going it started and I cut out right at the end as it was starting to work let's go down here and we'll spend a little bit of time talking about this because this was huge this was about six to eight hours worth of work last night I mean I was up until about 2 30 in the morning I think I started at about 8 in the evening and uh, if not earlier than that and it took almost six to eight hours for this whole thing to go all the way through it's crazy I ended up having to build a couple things additional one railcraft walls and tanks so if we look at this here let's look at railcraft uh, let's just look at uh, steel tank okay tank walls are pretty simple it's just four steel plates I had a bunch of steel left over uh, from when we originally made it uh, the frames or the the window looking things here are are this these guys we need to, this needs to get localized all the <laughs> the names and everything you can see it's kind of odd and then you've got the tank here so the way that this was built I went and set it up on some fact on some block craftery but this is a five by five by seven and if we notice it's gonna hold 5.6 million millibuckets or 5600 buckets right now I have 4,975 buckets into that yeah yeah that's what I got so that's what that thing pumped out of it I ended up having to build a second train so I had dual trains going six carts six tank carts each going back and forth I ended up having to set up a fluid loader which we've done all these and we had an item loader so those things would just come through and then they would come out the back side here and since I only ran one line we went ahead and set up a, a locking track kit here and a detector rail right here so that when that when the train coming in to unload hit this it went ahead and released the other train and that's about the right distance so that the other train could sneak out and he would go up there he would load and come back down now that's probably this is probably not the fastest way but I'm gonna tell y'all it is stinking sweet and cool it was so cool to sit back and, and just watch the trains go it was a little nerve-wracking as this thing started to fill up I got to 4,000 <laughs> I was like it's still going it's still going and that was continuously going here in a bit we're going to talk about the other oil well we got and I've got a, I got a little time lapse that shows actually what happened with that thing and us cleaning that up now imagine that one that we're going to show you here in a bit 
three times that size. This thing was full of cobblestone everywhere. And so I, we, we spent, that's why we had to get the tools because it just wasn't going to be efficient enough for us to do that. But, uh, but yeah, smarter thinkings. And I told I wasn't going to cheat and use a, you know, an ender tank or a black hole tank, which I ended up doing this for the second one. And you'll see that'll be set out. But look at this, this one out of that little one got over a thousand mil, a thousand buckets of oil in it. So really 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 crazy cool stuff so <laughs> yeah let's just jump back up here we did a lot of jumping back and forth up here last night but uh but yeah so i do apologize if uh, actually i don't i'm just enjoying relaxing a bit uh because we were really going fast and i had to actually put some oak logs up here to like protect it because the oil started to spill down it just was an absolute horrific mess but it's all cleaned up now and uh it looks pretty good up here well uh i don't know let me here's here's my question for you all this huge monstrosity of a oil drill let's call it an oil drill okay um do we keep it or do we go ahead and get rid of it and then build up here so what i'm going to do is in the upper right hand corner as we've done a couple times before i'm going to leave a little pole here keep or get rid of that thing right there and so I'll let you all decide and then uh, whatever whatever comes back we'll give it a couple days maybe a week or so and then we'll, we'll determine with that speaking of that the last poll that we did put up was about the glass in our house and unanimously like 90 to 90 percent to 10 percent said blue glass so I went ahead and put the light blue glass in and you get, you get ladies and gentlemen you guys were right it looks so much better in here now look at this this is amazingly beautiful and so we as we kind of come up here I went ahead and did these here uh, this way and the blue I'm gonna leave these doors open here I kind of like the way to be able to come out here I was thinking maybe up here we do a little library here I don't know maybe the corners here with books and you know some books kind of up and around I, I, I don't know maybe we'll just put some in the corners and whatnot but but that's one thing I still owe you all we're going to do a uh, a cover a pergola if you'll call it of I want to say we're gonna do iron blocks and we're gonna use chisels and bits to do that so stay tuned we will do that uh, we just have so much stuff that we've got planned to do i'm so happy to have these guys out look at this dude he feels like he's kind of flying there i don't know buddy maybe we're gonna have to push you off i thought it might have been cool to put you on the pressure plate there on top of that but uh, i don't know okay so over here over here is the other uh is the other oil well that we had and so we've gone ahead and removed it so just a second here Watch this quick time lapse of this whole thing going down, of us putting it up, taking it down. And by the way, Mr. T Fox shows up here, and uh, you'll probably see him die here. We'll we'll highlight that too, by the way, because it was pretty funny. He got stuck in the in the sticky stuff and uh, didn't do so well. So <laughs> I'll leave that there. But enjoy this, and I'll, I'll catch you guys on the back side of it. Welcome back. And <laughs> so, kind of crazy, but uh, that one actually got about a thousand mil buckets, a thousand buckets out of that, of just that little area, right? Pretty stinking crazy. But the reason why I use a scaffolding, watch how quick this is going to come down. So, we're just going to take it down here. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. And uh, you all jumping back in my inventory, please. Thank you. And uh, boom. There we go, just like that. So that's the reason I used it, uh, because it's really quick. But again, hey, please, uh, please vote on the poll here. What we want to do with this big guy over here? Um, I don't know. He's pretty iconic, but I mean, maybe we do something else and we move that. I don't know. I, I get your else thoughts. 
So um, today we're going to work on kind of the river here. Uh, so we've talked about the rivers that are around us, right? And we've actually done that. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apologize a little bit for kicking you to a second, uh, what do I call it? A second little snapshot in time of, uh, of Mr. T Fox and I working together kind of to build out um, the river area that we've talked about. If you look, go back to the master plan that we've got and you look right here uh, is we've got a river here and it's going to connect up our, our area. And so take a look at this and watch us cutting out all of this land and everything to build this back. the river's been cut out now I'm gonna come back through and we're gonna actually build in and kind of read landscape re uh, terrain as eyes I guess you could say it of how this is gonna go and so we're gonna relay each of the layers of stone and dirt and then we're gonna actually come back in with some vegetation and kind of make that look pretty decent so enjoy the rest of this as, uh, as you watch this piece and uh, again, we'll catch you guys on the back side of this. All right, so not too horribly bad. That was a lot of fun to do. And so now we've got this nice riverbed and everything ready to be filled with water. And we'll do that here in a bit today too. We're gonna get to that. Uh, so we'll fill this whole thing with water. We got a real nice simple way to do that, but uh, we'll do that. And I wanna get now to do this bridge up top here. Now the bridge is gonna be pretty simple. I'm not gonna go over the top with it. It's just gonna be a small pedestrian bridge. So let's grab a stack of cobblestone here. And actually I had all this stone over here being made. So not cobblestone, but just straight stone. And you can see here, I've got it laid out because we went ahead and I, when we removed the large dirt pillar that I put in the middle of this, we had to, I had to have some way to mark the middle of it, but I'm really liking the way that this looks. And I think when the water comes through, it's going to look really, really nice. I hope so at least. If not, well, it's Minecraft, so we can do whatever we want. Uh, what am I doing here? Stick a thing. There we go. I just want four. Okay, there we go. Let's grab a full stack here, and then I'm going to grab out of here. I'm going to grab a stack here of just straight spruce planks. And, and I know typically we don't do a whole lot of, of, of building and designing on the on the fly here, 
But I thought we again we just kind of slow down just a bit today and do some things that are kind of fun and at least I enjoy and so I thought I'd bring you all along with it. So coming off of here I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm going to have to remove this block here. All right. And then we're going to go one, two, there we go. Now this isn't anything over the top. Okay. Actually, I think I want to do as we go out a little bit further here, I want to use some stairs too. So let's grab some stairs. Oh, why am I doing that? I already have some planks here. See that type of look happens a lot. I don't know if this is going to look okay, but uh, we're going to find out. And I got a little bit of dirt I do okay. So I've got one, two. Now as it connects to the next one, let's see if I can make this work here. So I'm going to come out one more. So I'm going to do two and then three. And then I'm going to drop here, right? And I'm thinking here that if I do this upside down stairs this way, not that way, other way. Here we go, like this. There we go, and here, and that should. Let me just let's let's take a look here. Let's pull back here. Let's go ahead and put the next piece in, which is going to be right here, there, there, and here. And then we'll go one, two, three, and one, two. There we go. Okay, let's come back here and take a quick look and see. Yeah, I like that look there because it makes it look like it's all together. That's cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I got one, two, three, four. So I got to do this one more time. One, two, three. Oh, wrong one, buddy. Thank goodness we got this fast pickaxe nowadays. So we'll do that that way. And now, if I can make the jump over here, awesome, I can. Uh, is this going to work here? Let's go with the piece of dirt there, and then we're going to turn this guy this way. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to work really nicely, I hope. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. And then one, two, and there's that one. And then we're going to come up here just like uh, this. Okay, uh, so that's the first thing. This is just the pathway here. That's okay. That's cool, right? And then I want to go ahead and do, uh, let's go ahead and remove a little of this out here and here. And I'm just going to go with the spruce logs right here like this. Okay, and we'll do that on the other side. And now we got to kind of connect it up here. So we got some work to do here real quick to connect it up. And honestly, that's why I made these uh, stone brick slabs. This is really not a very complicated bridge. It's really, really not, honestly. Ooh, do we go with stone? Do I, do I or do we not? Really? I'm going to have to drop down underneath this? Really? You little booger? Okay, let's see if I can get this underneath here. I'm going to drop underneath here, and it's not going to let me back up. <laughs> That's going to gonna happen here. Okay, let's see here if we can continue with this guy. And that's nice. I'm going to want to come down just a bit here. So do we do stairs on this one too, I wonder? I don't know. And actually, I think I want to go ahead and take this up one more here. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm liking the way this is working. Okay, let's see if we can bring this over here. So I just, again, I really want to bring you guys along as we do some of this because, again, what do we do? And, well, there we go. I, I don't want that too. I just want to go one down. There we are. Um, so one of the things is, is we kind of build this out here, just kind of discussing things, is that... Why do I like, say, this mod pack here compared to some of the other ones, right? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I really enjoy about it is the open world ability to be able to kind of do whatever I want. And I've seen some things on Reddit recently and, and other places of, of people that are not used to playing packs that don't have a quest book, right? And this is not focused at anybody in general, by the way. Uh, it's just me and what I truly, truly like is that that uh, as there I like the ability to be able to have the open world and do whatever I want to do here with this and so you know today again we're just building this thing and I, we'll just try something new there we go just like that okay I like that I can live with that we'll take this back we'll go there 
Now this is not, I'm really getting, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a very complicated bridge. We're just making something pretty here. And I don't even know if it's pretty, but it's something different. It's just, it's just to get us across back and forth. Look at that. Okay, so then we're going to come off here. Let's go here. Doop, doop. And that's not going to work, so we're going to have to come down one. All right, there, good. And then there, there. Okay. And then I break the top one there. All right. As the sun goes down, we have a little bridge here. That's not horribly bad. So let's go back here. Let's grab some sleep. And then what I'm going to do is create a, uh, we're going to do two other things where we're going to build us some lights so we can put some cool lamps up top there, specifically the feral lamps. I don't, I think we should have enough to do those. Maybe we do. I don't know. We'll take a look here. We're going to sleep. Can we sleep yet? No. Okay. So feral lamps here. Fair row. There we are. Look at that. Okay. That's no problems. Do I, okay. Any glass block. So one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do four of those. We're going to put them on each corner of this thing, right? I think that'll be nice. Um, I'm just thinking of anything else that may work, work, work well with this thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know again in the comments as, as we can see it. So we're just kind of, yeah, yeah, this is, this will be okay. Uh, before we go back over, I want to do a couple things here. Uh, one, I want to kind of consolidate some stuff here. Let's go with that, and we'll hold on to the bricks here with us. But I want to build ourselves a build, uh, not a builder, but um, a gate, uh, specifically the floodgate here. So this floodgate here, we're going to need a tank, some iron bars, and iron gear. Okay, so let's start with the tank. That's pretty. Let's start with the iron gears. I don't think I have any normal. Uh, I don't think I have any normal gears in my thing right now because I've used them all earlier for a bunch of things. I think that black hole uh, tank that we had. Okay, so that should be good. So this will get us a floodgate. Awesome. Okay, so we got a floodgate. Let's get the aqueous. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of fluid duct. That's great. And then I wonder if we still have our redstone engine here we do good now let's put two against that i think it needs two it might not it really might not but we'll take these two here let's also get ourselves two levers here levers i love saying levers i know it's so wrong it's a lever <laughs> but it's just fun okay so we'll craft two of these up just just in case I, I again i don't know it's been a while since we've used the floodgate but we'll, we'll figure it out okay that should be about it so, oh, I got my first engine. Yeah, <laughs> I already had it. <laughs> New server, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, by the way, um, I, I, and I'm so far into this video. Uh, I, 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 if I haven't come back at the beginning and said it, I want to just say, I got to take a second and say thank you to Creeperhost. So the FTB1 server, which we've been on for the absolute longest time, is 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 now being hosted on a creeper host box and and again i don't get anything in it and for me it's uh, one way or the other i'm just happy to be able to play on the server and so we want to say thank you to the guys over at creeper host for kind of helping support the ftb team in in these different things so um if you got a chance uh when you download these packs that the, there's the, the creeper host options on them if you want to set up a server i'd say go check them out um i, I i've never personally used them um, I, I don't know, but they were nice enough, and I know that they're they've been good longtime friends of the guys at the FTB team. So, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you. I, I appreciate it, really, really. I do. I'm having a great time on this, and to be able to continue this is, is absolutely phenomenal. So, thank you. And and again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you get a chance, please thank the the guys at Creeper Host if you're enjoying this series, because because I really am. Okay, so these lights and the reason why we did the feral lanterns is because they like throw all this light out everywhere, right? And I'm turning off the line of sight, or I'm enabling it so that it only places where it can see. Because if not, it's going to place lights every stinking where, and it just kind of becomes over the top. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's get down here to the bottom here. And we're going to do something really, really fun here. We're going to take this aqueous, you know, accumulator. We're going to place him right there. He's going to start filling up with water just like he does there. Okay, so the next thing we have our floodgate. Our floodgate, we are going to want to set him at the level, the highest level of water that we've got. So right now, I'm going to want that right here. Okay, and I want it to fill everything that's around this thing. Okay, <laughs> so. 
it's we're gonna have to run around let's run around here and check for gaps because if there's any gaps at below where we're currently standing at the 63 it's going to fill those so that is very key that we understand that and we come back through here and we see that it's all the way back here so I'm gonna remove this 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 because this is also going to be part of our river too that's the reason why we cleaned up a lot of this area so it should clean all the way back up to here oops I just did a whole bunch of no-nos there okay and it's gonna come all the way back into here so there we go just like that and, and then hopefully it's gonna fill all of this area if we let it continue to go okay so let's set this thing up and let's continue to check here I don't think we're gonna run into too many problems here but let's throw a piece of sand there that looks a little bit better yeah and so let's go ahead and get this dude rolling today and let's we can remove all of this cobblestone here because we're not gonna want to let's get it get out of here would you okay so we're gonna break the dams there we are and you and you come on come on come on there we go and then sand here all right great so that one's broke and now we're gonna break this dam here too so we'll start with uh, let's just start here and we'll do that and we'll remove that and that so these dams, we kind of dam these up as we were kind of working through here so that we had a little bit of uh, workspace here. There we are. And, oh, wrong tool. There's that. Here's this, uh, which is this piece of dirt. Oh, I got a whole bunch of pieces of dirt with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. And there we go. Uh, perfect. Look at this. Okay, and I want to go right there. Okay, now my understanding here is I'm gonna hook this paper I'm gonna hook this sucker up and I may have to put power to it but I don't think I'm going to have to okay so there it is listen to that the floodgate is working so now watch as this thing fills here it's gonna fill there and it's gonna start filling this whole stinking area up how cool is that tool right there that is amazing and there we go so now I've got source blocks coming all the way through and again that's the reason why we double check to make sure and I probably should have come all the way back here yeah that's all closed off so that's good and uh, that should be good over there too so uh oh something's not good it's way it's it's somewhere else other than right here let's double check and see where it's at no that's okay it seems like we're okay I hope yeah we're good that's all that's all 63 and it's all enclosed look at this this is cool so that thing should be working and it should continue to kind of fill as we go so uh, now it's just kind of a waiting game to let it fill all the way in oh hey what are you doing there you need to go away You should be continuing to move, buddy. Are you gonna make me move you and do this again? It might. Let's just break him and we'll, we'll try it again over here. Oh, I got water fragments out of it. That's very nice. I don't know if I like those. <laughs> we'll probably break him and call him good. Okay, so let's get this dude over here. Let's put him right in the middle here. And right here. And we got plenty of pipe. So let's set our aqueous accumulator. It's right out in here somewhere, somewhere nice. I think right there will work. Because once he gets water, and then we'll be good. There we go, he's got water, and I've got like 64 pipe. I got so much fluid pipe because we've got this. Well, I wanna go that way with it, thank you. So then let's just continue to build him out here. There we go, and there. Are we about even yet? No, we're not. Come on. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Now he should do a pretty good job, hopefully, here of filling this area here. I don't know why I didn't want to go any further. Because we tried this earlier on, a, on another lake. We've got a lake to do. So here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. It's filling that area. Look at it. Look at the water level come. 
this one come? Look at that. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is amazing. This is a beautiful. I'm, I'm loving this. Okay, now it should just fill this out and completely go on through. And then it'll basically connect this area up. Look at that go. You can kind of hear and see the buckets place as it goes. Look at that. One there. All right. Now, question, does it go all the way over there? Let's go take a look here. And we, because I don't know if we're gonna have to move it, but I'm hoping it does. Because that would be super cool, by the way. It is. Here it is. Here it is. It's working over here, too. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I this is, I'm not going to pause this. I am having a great time today. Because, again, we have slowed it down. We're kind of relaxing it and just chilling out doing this. Man, look at this. Look at this. Have, have you not you're not gonna work any further for us buddy maybe it's found something it's having to fill I don't know but it's almost there all we got to do is get it to there so but yeah this is then this will actually look this will build this lake here all the way around here for us or at least a river now I've got to do this area here now I haven't done this area I, this one's gonna be interesting so we will we'll spend some time doing that one too I don't know if you can see that and then this is really cool here this area back in through here we're gonna to have to do that one too I'm, I'm excited how we do that so hey we got a squiddy here I am a little, whoa now you see all the lights and everything that how they light up that is super cool I'm a little nervous here, by the way, of where all that water is going. <laughs> Let me sleep here. Next time we'll get rid of it. What can we use these for? Well, I can use these for. I don't know. Forget it. We're going to throw them away. I don't need the dang things. We got water. It's not like water is a tough thing. And if there's nothing you can craft with them, then I don't see the use in keeping them. So, all right. Let me take a nap here, and uh, I'll join you guys when the, when the daylight's back up again. All right, after a great night's sleep, let's grab some lily pads. Oh, I have a couple lily pads. This time I'm going to use all of them. And then let's grab a little sugar cane. Sugar. Sugar cane here. And I also like to do some leaves. Now, we've done some leaves, so let's use a little bit of... We're going to use a little bit of extra leaves here. What can I decorate a little bit down here? There we are. So it looks like we might have to go ahead and move our... Uh, our floodgate it may not be reaching that far so we just have to pick it up and work it but uh, yeah as you can see we were we were enchanting <laughs> enchanting in the magic area but this isn't too bad of a spot I don't think this is horrible I, I think it's just it's fairly simple and it fits right now the theme of what's going on and if we really want to get real fancy and technical with everything around here we could do a nice fancy bridge but I'm okay with with simple right now I really really am so Let's remove that. Let's break this. Okay. And we'll just pick all this pipe up here. Okay. But before we do that, before we come over here to the side, so let's take some leaves. And I want to put a couple leaves in the bottom of the lake here, like right here. Just just here and there. Nothing over the top and not a lot, but just a couple here. And maybe right right here. There we go. Okay, so that starts to kind of give a little bit more definition in there, maybe there. And then let's put some sugar cane, a little piece there, and maybe one right out here would be nice to kind of bring you in. Okay, yeah, look at that. I'm liking that. I am, I think. Oh, actually, I really am, actually, so. And then a little bit of sugar cane, I think maybe like one right there, that'll be okay. And then oh, we'll pick up the rest of this as we go. Come on, oh, I didn't get all of it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go. There we are. All right. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go we'll, over there and we'll finish that area over there. And that'll be it for the day. So there, here, 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 and there. All that's all picked up. So then let's, we got this really, really cool area right out here. Maybe here is as we go ahead and do a little bit of like something like that maybe. And then, oh, look at that. That is really cool underneath here. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe something there. There we are. I can live with that. And then let's add some lily pads here. And maybe just like there and there. Not a lot, just a couple. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, all right, maybe something there. <laughs> I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I actually, have, I'm enjoying it. I think that's going to work. So, okay. And then as we come in here, I'll just place a lily pad there. We're going to want a little, a little here with the uh, boom, boom. That's two pretty ones there. And then kind of to give a little definition as you continue to go through here, that's what we want. So that should be good. We're just going to trash out these little water crystals again here. I don't really need them. No, 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 don't do that. That would have been horrible. I just about threw away that stuff. Okay, so then let's place down the aqueous accumulator again. We'll place the floodgate right there. And then we'll just connect them up here. Boom. Just like this. Oh, really? I'm really not having a good time placing pipe today, by the way. There we go. And that should finish us out all the way up here. Look at that. Now this isn't going to be deep enough for us to put any leaves in or anything. It just kind of look a little odd, I think. Yeah, it will. But we are making progress, ladies and gentlemen. We are making progress on the master plan that we originally wanted to do. So, yeah, yeah. Ah, this is good. There it is. And it's going to finish up here and we are going to be done for the day. And with that, I, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you all sticking with this. Might be a little bit longer, but again, I really want to take it slow today. I want to just kind of relax and enjoy the time getting to do some things that we typically don't get to do. And that's kind of build and pull out some things that we haven't done. So with that, thank you. My name's C. Scott, and we'll catch you all again very, very soon.